the septic tanks that were oozing uh, waste and toilet paper literally coming out of the ground. Now at six, homes falling apart and a landlord accused of refusing to lift a finger. The major health hazards tenants say they suffer while their landlord leads a lavish lifestyle. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Eula. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. And you can see some of those problems those people are dealing with in the monitor behind us. Take a look. Moldy walls, holes in the floors, and sewage actually seeping through the ground. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Raish is taking action live tonight, helping bring these issues to light. Ryan? You know, as one resident put it to me today, if he had the choice and the resources, he won't even let his pets live in the conditions that all these people are living in today. In fact, with what they describe, they should probably be living with one of these. It stinks. Take a stroll through the Lake Wales Mobile Home Park and you may feel like you're walking in a sewer line. <gasps> Some of the sewer tanks exposed, the lids busted off and covered with a piece of wood. In other spots, watch where you walk. Raw sewage is seen seeping through the grass. Nothing was ever resolved. It got so bad to the point that I had to call code enforcement. Cindy Phillips used to live here, but the day she called code enforcement, she says management slapped her with this eviction notice. She says the raw sewage is just the start. Take a look inside. Gaping holes in some floors and walls covered in black mold. My stepdad got so sick to the point that he was admitted in the hospital. Current tenants we talked to say anytime you ask for repairs, management blows you off. Bradley Elam would know. He used to work in maintenance on the property and still lives there today. They could see an open sewer pipe leaking on the ground right coming straight out of the commode and they'll be like we'll fix that next week. The owner of the mobile home park is Dr. Stephen Chambers of Tampa. He's living the life on Bayshore Boulevard in a million dollar home that you can certainly bet is mold free. A representative of his company told me they just became aware of the issues this week and are sending a team out here to assess the situation. Tenants say they've complained for years. The man has more than enough money to fix the place and do it right, but he don't want to. We tried to get the real story directly from management, but were abruptly ordered to leave. We have nothing to say, so would you please no leave comments. the park? Okay, you don't have anything to say about the moldy walls or the septic tank sure. issue? Community activist Laura Donnelly got the same reception last week when she came to snag a few pictures to try and help some frustrated residents. They didn't like the fact that I was taking pictures. Um, they didn't want anyone on the outside knowing what was going on on the inside and now I understand why. A sight you have to see and smell for yourself to believe. If they saved everything they could just to be able to move in, how are they going to save enough to be able to move out? And back here live, we were standing right here when code enforcement arrived a little while ago. Uh, and then just a short while ago, the environmental division of the health department arrived. They are doing some inspections of their own. We are waiting for the results. We're live in Lake Wales tonight. Ryan Raish, ABC Action News. All right, Ryan, thank you. Unfortunately, problems like this is, exist all around the Bay Area, so we want to help you. If you're in a similar situation, just go to our website at abcactionnews.com. You're going to click on Ryan's story link right on that front page, and it's going to bring you to his story right there on that page. And then if you go to the bottom, there is links for every county in the Bay Area for code enforcement if you have a problem or any issue that you would like to report.